Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we are going to be doing a complete overview with every last bit of information we have on the LEGO Star Wars Summer Wave. So, I've done a video similar to this, but this time we're doing a complete overview. Everything we have, if there's any piece numbers, which I don't think there is, set numbers, and all the other good stuff that we want to know. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so first on this list is set number 75307, the Advent Calendar. There's not much to go in depth to, I just hope they add some clones or something to give me a reason to buy these things, because they're pretty useless. Anyway, next set, 75308, the UCS R2-D2. Surprise set, but hey, I'm not complaining, I think this will be a great set, and it is priced at 200 bucks. Also, not much to say, it'll probably include an R2-D2 minifigure, but who really cares about an R2-D2 minifigure? Uh, next on the list is the May the 4th the UCS Republic gunship. This one has a question mark. Get rid of that question mark. This picture's old. But anyway, UCS Republic gunship, uh, we know it's coming May the 4th. We also know there is no Commander Cody. There's just going to be one of those movie-style Phase 1 clone captains. Pretty pathetic, if you ask me. And it'll include one random Jedi from Geonosis. Hopefully exclusive, which it'll probably be. So, let's move on. Set number 75310, the Mandalore throne in Vault with Ahsoka and Darth Maul. This is a great way for anyone that didn't get Ahsoka yet to get Ahsoka, as well as Darth Maul, which is why I'll buy it, because Darth Maul is one bad minifigure. Okay, I shouldn't say bad. I mean bad as in good, if that makes sense. But anyway, that's that, and it's priced at $20, which is a very cheap price point in my opinion. Next is set number 75311, the Imperial Troop Transport. I think this set is going to be horrible. It's j literally just going to be a box with a cannon on top from that one episode in The Mandalorian. Not excited for this, but it is $40 and will be a relatively cheap way to get some of the Mandalorian minifigures. So I guess interesting for anyone who wants the minifigs. Next, is set number 75312, the Slave One for only $50. Which I find ridiculous. I don't know how they're gonna give us a slave one for 50 bucks, unless it's some sort of ugly junior set or something. But I mean, I'm, I can't wait for set picks to come out because this is an interesting set. The slave one is not a small build, and they're giving it to us for 50 bucks, which is amazing. So that's that. It'll obviously include Boba Fett. If this is Mandalorian related, I don't know if the information came up. But if it's a Mandalorian related slave one, it'll probably include the Mandalorian as well. Baby Yoda, bo maybe. And that's about it. And also a uh, Fennec. So that's that. Next, UCS Death Star or at, at We still don't have any definitive information on this. But still, same applies. Set number 75313. Some sort of UCS Imperial thingy. Next is very inter interesting. Set number 75314 the Bad Batch shuttle for a hundred bucks. Now, according to my new rumors, we're gonna get every single Bad Batch member plus Echo, and if you've seen these leaks, Echo is basically this Ark Shadow Trooper. I mean, not Ark, he's this Bark, B-A-R-C. He looks like Commander Neo, except mixed with an Ark Trooper, and in Bad Batch colors. He looks absolutely ridiculous. So if we end up getting all of them in this set, it's gonna be one of the best LEGO Star Wars sets ever, in my opinion. Priced at a hundred bucks. Next, set number 75315, the Moff Gideon Cruiser, or the Arquitans Glass Light Cruiser, or the Imperial Light Cruiser, or whatever you want to call it. 160 bucks, and this is going to be one good set. Minifigures include, obviously, Moff Gideon, some Stormtroopers, probably those Dark Troopers, Mandalorian, most likely not Cara Dune, uh, bo -Katan, her little Mando buddy, and possibly Boba Fett, but probably not. And also maybe Luke Skywalker and Grogu. So that's that. Uh, can't wait to see it. I hope they scale it somewhat appropriately for 160 bucks, Because I'm just hoping that it's not puny. So that's that. Next is the Mandalorian fighter. Which is exciting a lot of people. Because the minifigures for this one include bo -Katan, Gar Saxon, and another Mandalorian. Uh, the Mandalorian will be one of the blue ones. And not one of the super commandos like I wish it was. So that's that. And next we have this set that says unknown 30 bucks, but with new information that I have, uh, it's looking that this, like that unknown set, will be a battle pack of sorts, most likely related to the Mandalore arc in season 7. That's very interesting, I hope it is a battle pack, 
I may be wrong, but I hope it is a battle pack, because I want battle packs. Anyway, next, Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber. Who cares? Unless you want Darth Vader for the 300th time. So, that's all the sets we have. This is just a complete rundown. If you have any questions, thoughts, or anything of that sort, tell me down below. Remember to subscribe if you found this video helpful, and drop a like, because why not? See you guys.